Today I'm going to show you how to hack your iPhone 3G with the 2.2 software and how you can change icons, sounds, everything. Uh, it's all going to be in a couple videos because I'm not partnership with YouTube so I can't really take long videos but anyway let's go for it. Um, we'll go to settings I'll show you that it is the 2.2 software as you can tell that is the iPhone 3G. Uh, we'll go to general about here we go version it's hard to see but version is 2.2 so there you go now what I'll have in my more info is I will have a thing called quick pound you will need to download that it is a zip vi oh wow a zip file I have not tried this on anything else but Windows Vista so you know that's up to you. Um, if you have Windows Vista, basically all it's all good. Uh, you'll unzip it. You'll hit Run, and then with Windows Vista, you'll hit Allow. Give it a second to, turn, to load up, and then yeah, you'll have it. And um, I'm not gonna go through every single. I'm gonna go through as many steps as possible. But hold on one second. Let me connect my phone here for that to work. <coughs> Um, you, of course you're going to have to have it connected, and this little blue thing will come on. You select that. Now, it should have your restore ISP, oh, crap, your ISP, or IPSW in there. If it does not, send me a message, I will get you one, um, and then you can find it, you know. But if it does do what it's supposed to do, and you have the check mark, you hit it again. Now, add Cydia. That is, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but Cydia and Installer are the two jailbreaking programs where you get all your programs for free from the developers. Uh, I prefer Cydia. Lots prefer Cydia uh, over Installer and vice versa. So, yeah. Um, replace boot logos. Instead of having an apple when you turn your phone on, it will have a pineapple. That is totally up to you. That is not important at all for this video or for your phone. That is just they offer that and you know that's up to you. Then you'll hit your next arrow and then it will read down all the instructions. I had unplugged my iPhone but that's why it says that. But it will read down all the instructions for you to do it and then you'll hit finish and that will be it. Um, that's that. Um, I will let's see my phone's taking forever to boot up here. <coughs> I will show you some of the um, features that you can get with some of the stuff that I have downloaded through Cydia. Uh, I will also show you how to download and install them and get those to work. Freaking phone takes forever, I'm telling you. Okay, um, you can change the sounds on them. And uh, as you can see, I changed the carrier logo which, you know, a lot of people were asking to do on that. Um, I changed the sound on that, you know, to make it, I don't know, just something new. <coughs> this is where I stick out. I'm just kidding. Um, uh, what did I want to show you guys here? Uh, there is a program called Byte SMS. Uh, uh, yeah, weird name, but I, I know. Um, you can, basically what it is, is it helps you... Let's see here. You can get text messages for cheaper, which if you have a plan through AT&T, basically you can cancel it because Byte SMS is like a prepaid text messaging company. You'll buy um, credits over their website, and uh, you will put them in, and uh, you can use them. <coughs> now, if you have unlimited text messaging, like every other normal human being who texts all the time, you can um, just on the settings you'll just select mobile carrier and that won't matter to anything if you do happen to have um, a limited <coughs> you know like you only have 250 texts there is a counter on here that will help you count them so this way you don't have to do that in your head but um what you've all been waiting for okay you can send a text like this. Uh, everybody knows that because everybody who has an iPhone has no choice but to do that. Now you're able to text horizontally. 
as you can see, hi, send via carrier, it'll send. I also changed that sound, I will show you how to do that, it's very simple, believe it or not, and uh, you can just move it back and then, yeah, and then, you know, put it on hold. Now there is one setting you have to mess with, um, actually let me show you how to do that now. You'll select Byte SMS, um, go into anybody's name for a text message, and then you hit the little blue arrow. Now, it'll say Default SMS App. It will be switched off. You have to switch it to on. Otherwise, every time you get a text message, you'll slide to view, and it will take you into your original SMS that came with AT&T, or T-Mobile, or we'll just say Apple in general, I guess. Um... And then you will just, and then you can actually just switch the icons out because then the other SMS will become completely useless. And then every time you get a text message, you'll slide to unlock, or slide to view, of course, and it'll take you right into Byte SMS instead of the original SMS app. So this way you're always able to use your sideways keyboard. Um, that's about it for now. I will show you some more on how to change sounds and all the good stuff. Uh, I just wanted to show you how, you know, some little basic features that you get with it and how to unlock it. Alright, any questions, uh, let me know. Alright, thank you.